Uh, we live? Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Are we what live? What does that sound I keep hearing though? Uh-oh. <clears throat> we are live, indeed. Is audio okay? I thought I heard something in that little sample there, but I can't seem to isolate it very quickly. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so let's see. Where were we? Um... We're in the middle, or towards the end, of getting our most basic uh, walls up and running. Let's go grab some more. There should be a whole bunch of walls. Uh, if not in the car already, then certainly over here. It seems like yay sound was corrupted. Let me test it again. <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me, actually. Uh... Seems, seems all right, I think. It's fine. Yes, indeed. All right, let's go. We got 84 turrets, uh, many hundreds of walls, uh, a little bit of rifle ammo. Not, not as much rifle ammo as I was like, uh, as I would like. I think I was also automating it up here. Whiskers, Nightfire, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And that's a start. We don't have enough copper, though. Alright, I'm sure this is way more turrets than we actually need. Oh, power. We have to fix power. Uh, I need some drills. I need that rock to not, to, to, to be the background that it looks like. And I need to head over this way. Would you play a death world? Uh, definitely. I've done that before on stream. Um, but it was quite a while ago now. Uh, drill, and drill, do we not have more of these? Daniel, good to see you again, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Um, how long till we get our power poles? Way too long. I get that they want to incentivize automating things, but there's only so much you can do at the very beginning. Oh, hey, Osoro. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this already covered? Not quite. And stop that for now. I'll put one more drill here before I get going. And then I think we're going to end up needing more lighted electric poles for what we're about to build. There we go. All right. So we're going right about here so we can make a nice vertical uh, bit of wall. Cardinal directions are best directions for these things in Factorio, especially when, uh, flamethrower turrets... Is that not an obstacle? Okay. Especially when flamethrower turrets can't be pointed in anything but cardinal directions. That is another little bug. Hey, Hughes Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I'm still carrying a thousand 
Uh, logistic tech cards. Whoops. That's more than two bugs. Alright, uh, this is actually exactly where we need to build. And squish, and miss, and squish. Um, could we perhaps... Build our walls right about here. Would that be okay? Uh, that's almost perfect. If we move it forward a bit, uh, we can actually take advantage of these cliffs rather than have them in our way. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ish. Nine or ten tiles forward. Uh, that's pretty much perfect, actually. Let's do that. Alright. So we're gonna go down here. And put our turrets right behind that. Spiders are going to continue to be rude. Uh, it seems like they're attacking pretty regularly this way. I'm, I imagine there's a base up there. Alright, so we want the maximum distance where they can still cover each other. But an even number of tiles apart. I thought there was a middle between these two. Oh, there is, but the one I've been doing is, like, off-center. Oh, well. In line with cliffs? Yes, indeed. And more are coming. Uh, I can do it with Hotkeys. There we go. The wall's not that important just yet, but I would rather have it and not need it. You click to XXX. Whoops. Whoops. I gotta be a bit more careful when I don't have bots to pick these things up. Whoops. Did it just... Wait, 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 wait. I wanna see this. I think it just picked up the ammo that I left on the ground. Like this. That's fantastic. <laughs> Alright, uh, so how many turrets are we going to need here? This is like eight. Probably going to need about another 12 to 20. We've got tons of them. This is fine. Hiyo, Asandanima. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I keep forgetting I don't have bots. Whoops. Whoops. Going to need to remove some of these rocks as well, otherwise we might end up wasting a lot of ammo on them. Physical projectile damage might get done with no further action. Looking good.
All right, that looks pretty good to me. And go. I'm thinking at the rate we're going with how weak the biters are for the moment, I should probably try to kill as many as possible before they get stronger. Uh, especially considering we've got, evol uh, not evolution, uh, expansion turned off. But then, covering that much ground as to remove a significant fraction of them from Nalvis, uh, pretty difficult with this kind of tech level. Besides, it won't take that long to clear them out with Spidertrons or something. Uh because they don't expand. Just saw you in the stream of Salford Cell. Yes, indeed. Salford's a uh, quite enjoyable streamer, I think. Very chill. And I like some of the games she plays as well. Although... It's been too long since I played Dwarf Fortress. Uh, it's pretty hard to follow. Squeaky boots. Wait, what? Uh, I can't put this turret here. It's probably fine. Bullet damage go up. Fantastic. Kate, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That hole looks too open. This one? Uh, I suppose so. Yeah, they, they might... Well, let's cover this anyway, just to be sure. Been a while for me, too. I still hope for the Steam release sometime this decade, maybe. Uh... Maybe. Oh, there's a biter nest, but it's pretty far from our pollution cloud. Alright, I've actually got 376 uh, transport belt on me. So, I think we'll make a start on... On um, getting that sorted out. Um, and we need sentinels. Uh, definitely one about here. I've only just got enough wind turbines for the moment. We probably want two more for each sentinel after the initial three. Alright, so that'll be able to see all of this. Whoops. I need the inserters on a shortcut key. There we go. And how about power poles as well? Normally I would have the... let's do power poles here. And repair packs can be, like, here. It's a bit more reachable. I do, I do like as well how the medium poles uh, range is exactly what it takes for full coverage in a line. In K2. Two turbine is enough for T1 radar. Uh, two turbines gives us 40 mech kilowatts, which is exactly what it takes for one sentinel. And we need one more, um, just so that the inserters and stuff are not pushing it a little bit over the edge. I built new outposts, I've been watching inserters loading into rockets, suddenly they became slow motion, forgot to connect to main grid, miners drained my ship's power, rip. All right. Soon we will be building a proper main bus base. Soon. 
Definitely today, anyway. And I can start playing around with the new stuff, like, uh... What was it? Something or other makes... I think it was water makes chlorine and... Something or other? I, I, I don't remember. Uh, but the point is, I'll be able to do it without worrying that my base is getting eaten. At least for a little while. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, with the lighted electrical poles, they take up some power as well. And that does add up. So, one or three more... Um, uh, wind turbines is not unreasonable. Is there a way to filter anything but X item? Uh, but not X item. Do you mean like with a filter inserter or something? Or... Where are you doing that? You can use blacklist filters. Yeah. Um, I don't have a filter inserter yet in this playthrough. Uh, actually, I could do this. If it's an output, um, you can use filters on... On these, but I can't actually... I can't show you the UI as if this was an inserter. But suffice to say, there's a there's a toggle that makes it whitelist or blacklist. So a blacklist is anything but this item. Let's remove these. You can filter splitters. That too. But I don't think we can change it from a whitelist to a blacklist. Similar toggle in Decon Planner? Yeah, that's true. Uh, Decon... Whitelist, blacklist. Um, don't forget this tiles tab exists. That can be confusing sometimes. Since it hardly ever gets used. I need, uh, what? A dozen or twenty inserters. And I need to make room for a drop-off here with a short train. Quite enough room for the corner there. Actually, if we're doing that, why don't we just put it here? Do I have enough to make a train stop? I do not. Okay. Uh, so let's return with some more... Oh, you're out of ammo already. That's a little bit concerning. Stack filter can have one filter. Regular filter can have five filters. Yeah, I noticed actually while I was playing with the sandbox... Oh, I could do it right now. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime I say I don't have the tech to check this, I can just jump into here. Um, so, filter inserter. This works a little bit different to what I'm used to, but it'll do. I noticed there's actually only four um, filter slots on filter inserters for some reason. However, um, it seems a reasonable sacrifice to make because we now get four slots on stack inserters. I wonder if these, uh, superior inserters give us... give us five filters. Nope. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the uh, reasoning was there that they reduced it to four filters. It's a little bit annoying, considering uh, I noticed... Where is it? Pulverizer? Uh, vanilla Core Fragment Processing. Um, we've only got one, two, three, four, five. It's actually six. Never mind. There's six physical outputs to deal with. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna. Whenever I switch, whenever I switch over to this surface um, in our game, I'm gonna remove everything. Uh, and if we're gonna build something a bit bigger and more complicated, I'm gonna jump into a different save because I do not want that slowly adding up to any impact whatsoever on UPS. Oh, and I checked. Time does move forward in the regular map while I jump into the sandbox 
on the same save. Right there is a blacklist switch. I never noticed that. Yeah, indeed. Um, yeah, I've used it quite a few times, actually. Uh, uh, I wish I had a Spider-Tron or something so I could demonstrate this while we're, while we're traveling with the sandbox mode. That's going to come in very handy. Alright, so power is looking good again. I really should have checked that, like, we were going to get the coal throughput, even though there was practically no power here. Whoops. Um, what are we looking for? Inserters. Let's go grab those pre-made inserter parts. I don't need quite that many copper plates. Actually, I'll deliver most of them up to the north part of the base. Um, get this stone out of my inventory as well, please, or at least some of it. Oh boy, that's a lot. Um, this iron and steel and insert parts. And I actually do regret uh, not putting, uh, not putting sticks in a box, because it, it does add up to a significant chunk of the crafting time for, uh, for inserters. Okay, um, so I'm, I want to dump some copper up here so we make more ammo. I want a bunch of inserters, and I should probably get single cylinder engines put in a box. I know we're making single cylinders up here somewhere. And ammo, and copper, and... Uh, someone said having one stack of iron beams is going to make all the difference for crafting some things. I can believe it. Um, and I'll take at least a couple. Hmm. I do have circuit wire. I don't want to waste circuit wire on this. You know what I could do even now? Cheat just a tiny, tiny little bit. Yellow inserter. Uh, green circuit wire. And everything smaller than 20. Copy that. Remove this. And exit the sandbox. And look at that. With only 12 steps, we got one free piece of wire. Does someone here know of a mod that allows wire network to recognize how many stacks are in a container? There is such a mod. I haven't tried it yet. Cheating, not like this. Uh, it's called, I don't know, uh, item stack size combinator something or other. Worth. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, maybe let a couple, maybe, maybe let a few stacks of that accumulate. So it'll greatly speed up our handcrafting. Um, we've got a bunch of inserters being made. We're missing even more copper. I left the car way down here. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to, without save exiting, uh, for example, designing our blocks when we've only got basic beacons or no beacons, um, if we're building in a rail block, uh, we can design it to fit the wide area beacon right from the start, and we'll grow into it later on. So that's going to be a whole lot less redesigning. This K2SE run is now disqualified. <laughs> Am I not going to be on the world leaderboards? Uh... Let's put our green data cards. Oh, I see. Uh, why don't I just do this? Because there's no room left in this chest, that's why. 
Um, this is supposed to be stone, which I have too much of. I'll go grab a little bit more of that. I don't think we're running out of walls. In fact, give me back a couple of my stacks of space, that is. And I feel like making a better chest here. Oh, crafting queue is still going. Inventory is full. Way too full. Okay, where's that chest gone? Get in, get in there. And we're out of reds for some reason, probably because there's no iron here. Um, and I need to go back upstairs for some iron. Stone. Get in this chest. Uh, should probably carry a little bit of glass. Definitely should carry some wood. Did I just hear gun turrets go off in here? Nothing should be able to get here. Like, what, what am I hearing? Is it the crusher? It's the crusher. Okay, cool. Uh, that's some iron plate, actually. That's good. And in here as well, please. Alright, the science will continue until morale improves. And we actually need to pick some stuff to research. I can't wait for bulk rail, uh, bulk rail loaders, but there's really no need for them just yet. Uh, rail signals, that's basically mandatory. Uh, LTN we don't really need yet, but what else could we get? Inventory space, yes please. And we need blue science for the next one. Silicon processing. Sand and water makes quartz. Interesting. And we need that for solar panels. Alright. And then... Uh, advanced electronics. Military tech card, sure, why not? Rutakez, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This K2 SE run... Oh, right, disqualified, yes. I never found a chance to ask, but what was your biggest UPS killer in the last run? Uh, any one thing in particular? Not really. There are a few things that were more or less equal. Uh, trains and crafting combinator were not as severe as you might expect. Electric networks were much, much worse than I would have imagined. Probably because I had a lot of separate electric networks, including way too many spaceships. We won't need half as many because we're going to have uh, space elevators, so we don't need shuttles to go between the ground and orbit. Um, I also will be more conscious of not, like... Making extra electric networks just so that we have, like, um, poles just for wire connections. T-Hacks was big UPS killer, <laughs> apparently. Um, so we're going to have a chest more or less here somewhere. Um, train stop here, locomotive here, cargo wagon somewhere like here, and uh, we're going to unload to just one side of the belt, because we want the belt, ammo consumption rate isn't going to be that high here, and we want the belt to fill up relatively easily, so that without making a loop, um, there can always be ammo available for each gun turret. 
How much longer on average does it take to finish the game in Crustorio? I don't know. Is this a C and C mod? Command and Conquer? Uh, Alexander, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'd argue about the same. Midden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. T1 radar consumes one megawatt, but a lot of energy is used for sca- uh-oh. A lot of energy is used for scan. Let's get some power here. And all of our ammo. Uh, and then we need to go and place the rest of these. Uh, right about here we want a sentinel. It's actually dipping... That's weird. I don't think the... In Why is it fluctuating? The inserters aren't causing that much of a fluctuation, surely. 42 kilowatts. 13 kilowatts from an active inserter. We're producing 60. Sentinel is 40. Uh, yeah, I guess a couple of inserters... Especially because it's during the day, it's not the lighted power poles. A couple of inserters really are pushing this uh, power network over the edge. Uh, anyway, I would like to put the wind turbines next to the sentinels if I can. Is it right about here? And I think this is the last of our walls for now. So next step is a cute little train that's going to just resupply ammo. Once I finished with the sentinels, that is. Where are we? Almost there. Alright, so we want one up here. Actually, I already went past it. And this... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Chunk. Uh, we're still fluctuating over the maximum by the same amount, but it's not as severe because the percentage is different. There we go. I'm interested in the harvesters. doop a doop Finally stuck around for long enough. Cool band name. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so we want one... Wait, did I do that too close? We want a gap of two. So yes, I did. Uh, let's cut this and put it around about here. In K no K2, you need about double the time. Not as bad as SE. As in K2 itself. Twice as long as vanilla. Is that the statement? Yes, okay. So I take it K2 is not going to add that much time to a space exploration run. And we want one, two, and three. Right about here somewhere. We don't need three uh sent we don't need three wind turbines for each sentinel. Just a spare one or two. But why Oh, because it's night time. Uh 86 kilowatts just from just from the lights. That's more than I expected. So we need five five extra wind turbines just for the lights. Can I handcraft some more? Yes I can. 
Does the Command and Conquer mod with harvesters and so on in it? First look at this snow biome reminded me of CNC Red Alert. Oh, okay. Um, I know there's, uh, what is it called? AAI vehicles. Um, I'm guessing those are not the harvesters you're referring to, right? Solar powered inserters would be a cool mod. I imagine it exists already. Probably. Alright, so that should... You know what? I don't care if it's not perfectly powered at night. It's probably going to be fine, as long as the inserters actually work. Okay. And then... Some of this. What's this? Uh, steel beam. Should probably, maybe, ha uh, automate some of that to carry with me. Just to confirm, not to push. Did the name and base reward register? Yes, it did. I just can't get there right now. Actually, I think I can make a ghost of it, so I can't. I need a sentinel over there so I can see it all the time. Once I get back to base, we'll do the name in base. And a vanilla track. I mean, not track. A vanilla... What's it? station. Um, let's say... wall... drop off... and we can see that that'll line up just fine. Um, probably want at least a fast inserter to take from the train though. And then we need to start manufacturing rail, Just hand, um, because I'm not handcrafting all of this. Alright, let's go do that name. How many characters do I need? 4, 8, 12. Now I wonder, is the light not as bright with low power? Um, I think it is. Not sure. What's going on with power here? Oh, this is fuel. Okay. Uh, let's get those. Name plates placed. Uh, I want to avoid this bit of stone here, because it's not a very good contrast. Cool band name. Fantastic. The light flickers with low power. Oof, owie. Uh, I mean, what time is it now? It's definitely daytime. Okay. Thanks, you're welcome. And could we maybe get some more electric labs? How about with this? Well, I, I guess we don't have to have that one go both ways. And some more. I'll just put these old ones in here.
Ironhide, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. There we go. Tripled our max consumption of science. Do you know if Navsat is a standalone mod or just with SE? Um, I didn't see it in the list of things that get checked as mods, like Jetpack, for instance. Um, if you do play SE, so I don't know if you can get it standalone or not. Alright, so next, next on the agenda is getting a bit more automation for the stuff that we need to build the base with. Damn it, rocks. You're in the way. Get out of here. Doop a doop. I'll take those. I'll take those. I'll not take those. I've already got a hundred. Uh, I'll definitely take these or some of them anyway. Uh, what does steel require? Coke. We can't just... Can we make it here? Pretty easily. With our spaghetti. We actually make coke in another furnace. We need wood. So we'll be running back and forth for that for a little bit longer. Um, what else? I think I mostly just want to make the train right now, so we need a whole bunch of steel. Multi-cylinder engines is gear, single cylinder, and iron plate. Uh, we can do that right here quite easily, actually. Well, somewhat easily. It's a little bit spaghetti, but it's fine. This is this is fine. That's what I'll keep telling myself. Um, not a bad idea to accumulate even more iron plate in a chest here anyway. And that, that long arm is not where I need it to be, actually. Um, if I move this here, chest goes here. Long arm goes here. With all this forget, you'd think this was a C for Cat playthrough. Wow. This is fine. Yes, indeed. Rocks are the worst enemy you can think of while fighting Biden nests from a car. That's true. Can't you change reach in KS2? Uh, yeah, I did give myself a little bit of bonus reach. Kellogg's, good to see you again. Oh, you mean the inserters? Uh, no, we can only change uh, which side of the belt they put things on when they output. Fun fact, you can pick a dolly the damaged ship reactor. <laughs> so you can... So if you need power on your wall, it's 240 kilowatts of free power. <laughs> nice. That was another mod? Yeah. This one doesn't give us the... Uh, total freedom of making inserters just do whatever we want, which uh, is the kind of thing that some people would get upset about and call a cheat, but it's like with the uh, bulk rail loaders and stuff. Um, some difficulties I'm keeping, some difficulties I'm opting out of this playthrough for various reasons. I think I more than proved last playthrough that I can do whatever I want with... Uh, uh, with input and output from trains. Um, but we can save a whole lot of uh, circuits and entity count and container count and UPS and so on this way. Alright, let's get another chest up here, actually. Um, and how many do we need? 15. We need 80 steel plate. Let's go get it. 
And I may as well put this here while I'm at it. In fact, I'm carrying a bit more belt than I need now. Let's build some of this out. Uh, really, really easy to make stone furnaces. Whoops. Uh, two, four, six. Don't forget the recipes, because for some reason we need those. I'm sure someone can tell me exactly why. Um, 246816. Uh, I'm sure someone can tell me exactly why we need recipes for basic furnaces uh, with K2. It still just feels a bit weird. Oops, I almost destroyed that stone. Um, where were we going to put it? In the sand, in the crusher. And go. And go is what I would say if I had inserters. I've still got a ton of inserter parts. I've got way too much coal in my inventory. Easily remedied. Actually, not that easily remedied. Let's get more steel. I don't think... I was going to say I don't need more steel gear wheels, but I'm actually down to 66. Uh, and I'll take this and that and... Uh, make some more inserters, I guess. We're missing copper. There are better... Recipes for each resource later? Yes, indeed. There was a bit of that with regular SE. Uh, why can't I... Why can't I still not... Make this? Because I need more iron. I wasn't expecting that answer. Um, prepare that. As soon as I get the ammo train going, we're going to focus on uh, finishing these mines, getting copper up here, getting wood up here, getting a main bus started properly. Uh, for now, give me all of this, please. Maybe not all of it. I'm sure we'll go through it pretty quickly, though. I don't need two stone plates in my inventory. And I forgot I was making inserters up here, wasn't I? Got eight. And got the long arms already. Um this belt is going here. That's not quite right. Oh, where'd that plate go? I will not have you sitting on the belt. You can sit here next to your friend. And then this can go here. And we'll just have this one connect like so. Alright, uh, that'll be more than enough to support. Well, I think the mine will be more than enough to support this, rather, but that's all the belt that we'll be needing here anyway. loaders, a bit of storage, uh, 
and we're just missing a few inserters. One, two. Fantastic. Alright, so that's going to be all the iron we need for a while, I think. Uh, let's go... I was going back downstairs for steel so I could make the locomotive. We still need four plates of steel. Um, but we're not really making it here, it looks like. Oh, we've got five. We can just barely make one locomotive, but we need two for the way I want to do this. Um, I'm going to have to bring some wood over here. We also need quite a bit of steel for the cargo wagon. Alright, give to me all of this wood, please. How much wood accumulates? Uh, I didn't get to see it. I wonder how much wood accumulates in those machines if they're backed up. This one machine is going to take its sweet time making steel, though. Five per recipe. Uh, per minute, 18.75. That's actually not that bad. But we need, like, four and a bit minutes to make one locomotive. And a bit over a minute to make our cargo wagon. So it's going to be, like, six minutes at this rate. We need a little burst of steel here. Um, can I line it up so that... No, I don't think so. Are we still handcrafting this? Oh, we're handcrafting the locomotive. That's why. Except I don't need to handcraft the uh, multi-cylinder engines because they're being made up here. So I'll stop that for the moment. Even more coal in here, please. And wood as well. And go. Uh, go. And then once more with feeling. give us a bit more of a reasonable time frame. We've got 111. Uh, what do we need? 160 plus 180 total. Why is this not working? Because it doesn't have coke. Uh, whoops. Uh, I was trying to put wood directly in for the steel. That's, that's an oops. That's at least one oops. Coal and... Okay, so this doesn't actually use coal necessarily. Coke. Uh, and wood goes here. And this one would need iron plate, actually. Uh, 
Alright, so coke, coke, iron plate, iron plate. Uh, why do you have... A Tasman and Retrofish. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wish I used it fresh on my SEK2 playthrough. Painfully but slowly swapping my mega base train setups to use bulk rail loader and seeing my FPS UPS go back up to 50. Feels good. Wow. I look forward to hopefully keeping this one nice and high this time. Alright, so how much do we have already? 153, we're actually almost there. Uh, steel per minute. 75. Wait, no, 15. Wait. Oh, we're not actually using the steel. I think I kept it. I dragged it over here. Uh, it's actually just these three. Steel per minute, 56. So yeah, it's not going to take long at all. There's our 180. Alright, let's go grab our multi-cylinder engines, of which we need 30. And we need a bunch of iron gears as well. And that's pretty much it. We've already got lots of circuits. Uh, and we need to automate rail. There's not much point having... It's just steel beam and stone. So if I just automate steel beam, that'll get the job done. I've already got 40 multi-cylinder engines. Uh, we need more iron plate. Thank you. That's our train. So we just need to make steel beams. And then shove them together with stone. Uh, assembler. Steel beam. And I've got... Well, I've got a stone mine here, actually. But I've already got a bunch of stone. Two makes... It's one stone per rail. We've got... Uh, 500, 750-ish. I need another inserter. Oh, we're handcrafting this still. Uh, and that can wait as well. It'll be a glorious day when we have inserters, uh, fully automated. Let's just shove stone in here. I'm sure that'll work out pretty well. And... Actually, I was gonna put... Wait, wait, wait. That doesn't use stone at all. What am I doing? Uh... Stone in here. Rail. And another box. Once again, I have to cancel crafting all of it, please. And that's rail. Insert is actually keeping up, but that's because this one isn't. Yep. And we're very much bottlenecked on the steel beams. Alright. Let's handcraft a few more inserters and then we'll finish making our train. And that is an, a media, rather. Where are we going to load up the ammo? Let's just do it where we've already got the ammo. Um, 
Well, where I've automated ammo down here doesn't have automatic iron, and up here doesn't have automatic copper. But, uh, for now, I guess, it's probably easier if we do it up here, for a few reasons. There's plenty of space, there's no shortage of iron, we just have to deliver copper. Um... Can we just... Do it like this? We should probably have picked up the rail that was already crafted. Meanwhile, our research is going ahead of where we're actually up to. Always good. I see no motion here. What are we already missing? Iron. Okay. Uh, 60 steel. Or well, 60 rail, rather, is at least a start. More than enough to make a station here. And I need a train stop. Whoops. Uh, how about I throw to... I don't have any... Uh, I don't have any wood on me to make steel. I should make a wood production area up here. Rather than trying to belt this all the way up. Is this a new save or something? Yes, indeed. The Cody DJ. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, If I do a ghost... Oh, I can't do a ghost. Oh, yes, I can. I can copy this from here. Yes, yes, yes. We can see where this lines up. Fantastic. Uh, That'll be fine. Or I could even do it back here. And that would require a long arm. It's going to be a bit slow loading the train, to say the least, if I do it like that. Uh, what if I move this up a couple of tiles? And we have a chest right about here. Um, can I actually do this with two loaders? I can. That gets around the awkward distance for the inserters quite handily. And then fast inserter like so. Uh, yep, okay. Also, we do actually have the locomotives now. Um, I guess I have to go get some more steel. More rail. Yes, please. More iron goes here. Uh, steel is still being smelted. We got wood, we got coal. Seems good. Take all of this as well. Shift C. And that'll be fine. Uh, what was I making? Train stops. We need at least one, two, three, four, five more. Ostal? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Uh, and I guess we'll run it off coal since we've got coal right here. Or I could just put a fuel processor right here. Does it fit? Where is our fuel processor? Oh, here it is. It's 3x3. Three three. That's actually perfect. Or is it? 
uh, Smelly Pengu and Kippy2020. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. You're doing well. Let's make one of these. Give it a little box. Uh, maybe... Whoops. Oh, that is what I wanted. Maybe a loader. Underground. And bring this up here. Locomotive, cargo wagon, locomotive. And we need some power. Fantastic. Wait, does the train not take... Oh, the loader is taking the fuel before the inserter can get any. Interesting. Uh, but the train doesn't uh, does indeed take processed fuel. Okay, cool. Um, we don't have enough rail to get where we're going just yet. Can I do this a bit via the map? Probably. If I click this and go shift, could just put this over here. That'd probably work. Is it going to try to put it through a canyon? Uh, a cliff, that is. Insert from the fuel processor directly into the train. I want to accumulate a certain amount of it. Um, although it looked like the rate that it produces it, it wouldn't really have been a problem. Okay. Move this. That goes there. Get out of here, Mr. Rock. And I'll just put a stop here. Nice little spaghetti train setup. Uh, I'll use the same station settings here. And conditions are going to be... I need some copper. Uh, I don't want to go all the way over here for copper. Why don't we just do this? You saw nothing. Okay. Um, since there's only one train, enable, disable, or be just fine, so we don't need any combinators. I cannot deny nor confirm I saw anything, indeed. Undead Hunter, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we can be specific here. Rifle ammo. Rifle mag. Rifle magazine is less than, I don't know, 100? What the WTF just happened? Uh, nothing. You saw nothing. It's totally fine. I didn't, I didn't tab over to a cheat area where we can design things for free and then use that to copy wires because I couldn't be bothered making a little trip just to get some copper just to make circuit wire. That would never happen. I mean, additionally, also Vlad, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Additionally, this way you have two yellow inserter fighting for the item who are the same speed and both get it. Right now the loader is faster. It'll saturate though. It probably already has. Um, Alright, so how much rail do we need? 60 and maybe like 120 or so. Oh, we've already got 77 here. Uh, 
and Undead Hunter, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Can confirm I saw nothing. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Thank you so much, Undead. Oimina Jerusalem is always so chill. Thank you. I am this guy. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oops. I really think they should just make the red and green wire, like, free. And not have to take up inventory space. Um, I think I heard for Terraria, they're looking at doing the same thing for... Uh, I think it's just called wire in Terraria. Alright, delete that. Passion Sausage, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Your name always reminds me a little bit of Tumbling Satellite, because he would say things like Silly Sausage. O Oimina is an emote, I see. I keep forgetting to add some... Uh, what are they called? Better TV emotes? 7 TV, that's what, I think that's where I need to look to add them, uh, for free, right? Nodders? You don't have Franker's, Franker's Face Z. I don't know if I know that one. Oh, wow. Hold on. I said it would be saturated by now, but, oh, you can have a hundred processed fuel in one stack. Never mind. All right. There we go. Uh, let's go get some more rail. Better TV or 7 TV, I think. Hey, Evil Plum. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How much rail do we have? It's still in motion, so probably a decent amount. 146. We'll have this whole thing railed up in no time. TM. Still got plenty of coal uh, and coke. Okay. And what should your schedule be? Um. Ammo pickup. Ammo pickup. Wall drop off. Empty cargo or five seconds of inactivity. Full cargo or. Full cargo would be a lot. But we're going to get a trickle of rifle mags here. I think we should just say at least X amount of ammo, at least a stack, and we'll control when it's delivered by uh, when these are enabled. Okay, let's run our rail up here. And I wonder if that's got the train in motion yet. Uh, is this station enabled? It should be. Rifle mag less than 100, check. Manually stopped, I haven't started the train yet. Okay, do we have fuel in this side? Doesn't really show, but we should have more than enough. All right. Our first train. And I'm going to go burr. Oh, 
Let's continue. Do some ghost rail out this way. That's no good. And see how much it's going to cost us. Whoops. going with this. Right about here somewhere. Um, how about something like this? That works. That works pretty well actually. Is that a chest there already? Tree x-ray. Yes it is. Bust insert to go burr. Brain stop go. Uh, why don't I copy this? Train stop goes here. And we don't need power for this part. should be fine. Uh, I very much doubt we've got enough rail to finish this much in one go. I'm getting old. I have a hangover from three beers last night. Unfortunate. Sixty-seven rail remains. And we're done. How much do we need still? Uh, at least like 200. Let's go grab some more of that. Pick up some iron. Maybe I should make that a bigger chest. Copper is also running out. Um, you can actually have most of this ammo. Ultra Damon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Zanian, thank you for the follow as well. Uh, let's grab all of this iron. I want to take it downstairs and not have to do this very often. Are you, I'm already carrying two stacks of this. That's probably two and a half stacks. That's probably fine. Two and a half stacks of inserter parts and single cylinders is very much going to reduce the crafting time for our inserters. Let's grab some copper as well. And the rest of it can go upstairs. How much of this do I have? A step, that's good. And uh, iron goes in here. And also in here, give these to me, please. Give me the steel. Stone is still plenty. Only 116 rail, though. Okay. I think we'll 
run this rail and then focus on expanding mining a bit. Get some copper up here. Make a little start on the main bus. Uh, get some wood production in this area. By then we should have a bunch of rail to play with. And we can at least get the east slash north side uh, covered in automatic ammo resupply. Are we going to make it? We are not going to make it. We need another 36. That's not that much. I can make 31 with what's on me. Unfortunate. Alright, let's drop off this copper like I should have done already. Right about here. And then... What do we need for the wood? Once I get the wood coming in here, we can make uh, steel. I think I would rather get the copper up here first. Um, and stone makes glass. Stone is all the way over here, here, here. It's a little bit inconvenient to say the least. We've got tons of belts. Um, let's get to belting. Let's get to belting our copper. Also... What's the rate like? Exactly the same for copper and iron. Fantastic. Let's copy this. And we'll just change that to copper. We'll just run the copper through here. Or maybe I should smelt it down here. That's going to end up being a problem eventually. I'll have to deliver coal to here. Once that happens, I would rather have both iron and copper being made this way. One more. Did I never research the faster mining? Should probably do that. It's happening slower than I thought it would. Need some splitters. Research queue is a tad bit long. How many inserters do I have? 48. Cool. Uh, splitters. And go. small poles on me. Maybe we can do better than the small poles anyway. Medium poles barely use any more power individually for the lights. Okay, 
Okay, let's see. Oh yeah. That's that's a lot better. And then here. And then here. Very good. Uh long arm inserters. What did that just pick up? Nothing. Eight sixteen plus eight is twenty four. Let's do thirty at least. Pivot to inserters. Already running out of yellow inserters. Oh, because we're making the red ones, that's why. As yellow is a prerequisite for it. What else should we research? Steel X? Uh, advanced furnace. Just as I got all these regular ones lined up. Never mind. All right. Where's our car? We're gonna spaghetti belt. Wait, how much is this gonna use in total? Uh, 40, which is more than two yellow belts. Uh, it's a bit more than one red belt as well. I'll just run two belts up here and we can upgrade them when it comes to that. Or I'll leave room for two belts to come up here anyway. So we'll do splitter. Set Why does that look wrong? There we go. And so on. And then cliffs are going to be a little bit in the way, potentially. I'm going to run this all the way here. Alright, that can just be a straight line, I think. Probably. Not exactly. I think I'll have to go around it. That counts as running into the cliff. Okay. Uh, no, not like that. That should be far enough. And we actually haven't run out of belt yet. Oh, we're nowhere near running out of belt. That's good. Okay. Did I end up making those miners? I did not. Uh, get out of here, inserters. 
grab our one blueprint for this run so far. Hmm, can we move the whole thing down a couple? Not quite. Oh, that's perfect, actually. Okay. I don't really need this one. I do need this one. You need this one. Let's start about here. And actually, why don't we see if Why don't we see oh wait, I need some I need some ore for this. Uh let's see, what am I looking for? Resources. Uh iron sure brush much bigger okay that was maybe a bit too big that's fine and well i can just delete it all right well like this wait what why can't i put it back there we go that's not what I meant to do, but okay. Uh, mining drill. How did I get the... I'm not used to this particular editor mode. Clone? Time? None? Was that? None. Okay. Mode none. And for the medium power poles? Preferably with the lights. Uh, what's the sensible layout for these? We can do four of them with one pole. Fantastic. And the rest can just be regular belt. And I'm sure we could probably... I don't think it's worth the effort to try and make more make more of the power poles horizontally. This is fine. All right, blueprint snap to grid relative medium power pole. This goes in here. And delete all of this. I want to leave this uh, this whole place pristine. How do I how do I delete this again? How did how did I delete this? I think I went resources brush and then right click. Yep, there we go. Fantastic, Ricardo. Good to see you. Uh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, we're still handcrafting this stuff. I thought time continued moving forward while I was doing that. In fact, I'm sure it does. Let's put a fish here. Go to the map editor. And the fish continues. Okay. So I guess I'm deleting this blueprint now, and we'll go for this one with the bigger power poles. I soon. And we need to drag power all the way over here as well. Um, I guess put the drills on hold for a second. Make more power poles. Jump in the car. 
Factorio gets so tedious before bots sometimes. It can be. Crestorio 2, uh, especially with SE, or maybe it's just Crestorio 2, uh, really does drag out the early parts a bit more as well. And the number of steps that it takes to handcraft an inserter, or to craft an inserter, or a mining drill, for example, definitely doesn't help. Have you played Industrial Revolution 2? Uh, no, I have not. Vitio player. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's go up here. And so close and yet so far. Uh, I wish when you queued up five, it wouldn't do it like five of this, five of this, five of this. Like that just makes it take longer to get the one that you're waiting for. Wait, what? Didn't we just make... Oh, I see. Okay. Alright. So that is power for our copper mine. Um, we can probably calm down a little bit on these poles for a second. I'm thinking when I get around to tackling these mods, I might approach it in the lazy bastard fashion. Yeah. I w I'm trying to get to the point where I don't handcraft these things, but everything's all not in the same place. We had to run around a lot to get the biters off our backs as well. Alright, one more drill and then we'll move on for now, I think. And then we'll get some wood coming from over here so that we can automate steel with limitless coke. Let's see, for wood we require wood and glass and automation core and iron beam. Boop -a -doop. Uh, we're kind of doing make work research at the moment, but... Oh wait, let's finish solar panels. They're like two seconds from finished. Um, but it'll be good not to have to wait for the research when it comes time to use it. I only have 30 rail here. No steel beams. No coke. No coal. Alright, let's go grab some more coal. Um, I don't actually have, I don't actually have coal, oh, yes I do. There it is, right there. I was going to say I don't have coal stored in a chest, but that's a flat out lie. Happily. I once rage quit a factory building game without blueprints. They added them a year later. <laughs> Satisfactory still doesn't have blueprints. Although you can use a mod that makes it a bit smoother. But still. Okay. Um, give me that steel. Give me that steel. Give me one stack of these. Uh, give me cogs. Give me... Actually, yes, give me inserter parts. Give me that steel. And... I might just put most of the steel in this chest so that we get rail. And we've got enough stone for 554 sections of rail. Let's add a box for stone. What's this? Solar panel. Requires silicon. Alright. There'll be... 
plenty of stone. Actually, what's this? 3.8k. There's not that much stone left for those miners. Um, let's build a few more. And then we need copper. Oh, we've got some free miners here. Fantastic. Maybe I should have included the squeak through mod. Um, the first playthrough of SE, there was sort of a built-in squeak through, and it was enough to get through pretty much everything, but there's a few machines that are a bit of a nuisance this way. Oh, we need drills here as well. And then... I want to turn these around. Add a drill here. Medium pole would actually cover all of these. anytime soon. Let's grab this. Let's grab these. Put the stone up here for our rail. And we can expect probably quite a lot of rail before that runs out. Let's see if we can't... Well, 128 is definitely not enough for all of this rail that we need on the east side, but it probably gets us to the next station. Uh, we got copper plate. Fantastic. Very, very good. Let's head on over. Some turrets are engaged with the enemy. How much ammo do they have? Uh, relatively good. It's not a lot, but at the rate that they consume it, it's fine for the moment. Alright, that should be our train in motion. Yes, it is. And I think I'll just continue this straight rail going rip trees. Uh, going all the way to our last couple of stations here, rather than have different lines. Oh my god, how big is this, this rock? Uh, that's actually lineup. We need 52 more rail. We've got 20. I can't craft any. It's only for stone I can't craft any. Uh, 200 steel plate would be how many beams? Half as, half as many steel beams. So I could make 200 rail. If I pick up 200 stone. Where's the car? Hey, Captain Tree. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did you finish the walls yesterday? Uh, yes, but we haven't got the supply systems in place for them just yet. That's what we're working on now. We've got a train that is delivering ammo. Uh, we just need to get rail. We've got them here, 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 almost here. We've just got this station down the southeast. 
and then south and west walls to go after that. That's going to take a bit more rail. Uh, but this one, it looks like we've got enough already. Fantastic. Let's copy... I can't see it. Let's copy this. Uh, that's not quite right. Actually, can I make green wire? There we go. By the way, thanks for the raid last night. You're welcome. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I like to give a... I, li I like to vary what I do with uh, whether I'm raiding different sized channels and so on. Give everyone a chance. Uh, what do we got? I didn't copy the station settings yet. There we go. Yeah, I hope it gives you a nice boost. Gets you going. First few viewers are the hardest. Alright, so that is all but three of our stations connected. Uh, of course, the last three are going to require by far the most rail. We don't need any signals because this train line literally just has one train. And it's going to stay that way. When I build a bigger rail network, it's not going to include what we've got here. Probably. Um, I could still handcraft a bunch of rail if I pick up steer, uh, stone. I think I'll do that. Oops. Give it a little kiss. Is that all of our steel? Yeah, that was all of our steel. Alright. I don't think that's going to be anywhere near enough. boop -a doop Let's measure... Well, unless we have full vision, I can't really measure exactly how much rail we need. If I had the nav set, I could very easily. Uh, can we squeeze through there without using cliff explosives? We actually can, surprisingly enough. Yeah, we can. Oops. I might just reverse the direction of this belt, as a matter of fact. So we'll have the rail come down this way. Station goes about here. Uh, chest goes here. Belt goes here. And I'll take that. Don't need this. Station settings, wire, uh, 
and flint. Oh, I should put the ammo back in the box. Fantastic. Alright, we'll put what rail we can down here. And I think for a little while I'll just keep delivering ammo down there myself. Since it's going to take a minute to produce enough rail to connect all those. And we actually only need uh, 75. How much rail do we have here? 276. I'll take it. Could have sworn I didn't hit that. There's our copper. There's quite a lot of room left on this yellow belt still. I do appreciate coming back to the warm glow of the uh, lighted electric poles. Let's grab some steel as well. Not that one. You can have some more iron, but not all of it. Give to me those, and I think, no, I don't need two stacks of these, we hardly ever use them. I'll take some iron sticks though, and give me that. Okay. What is this? It's full of coal. Uh, I do need to deliver some coal up here. And I think it made me drop off more than I intended. Give some of that back, please. Alright, that'll do. Give me the rail. 334. Fantastic. So we'll drop off this rail, uh, confirm that the train is heading to resupply the last station, unless it's already got enough, and head over to manually deliver ammo to the uh, south and west walls. That'll buy us a whole bunch of time to design at our leisure. Expand the main bus. Uh, expand our mining, for that matter. Get science and everything actually fully automated, and we can really begin the game. Watching a player vs Rampant Biters last night, things got interesting around L7. Uh, I do actually have Rampant Biters uh, with this playthrough as well, although I have turned expansion off, so it is... Uh, plus and minus difficulty at the same time. And can you, do you have path? You have path. Fantastic. That's what I want to see. And we've got plenty of fuel here. That's good. Um... What am I doing next? Ammo delivered to 
There's only 187 here. Oh, there's no copper here, that's why. No, 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 not there. Give it back. I said give it... No. Give, give it back. Copper goes here, actually. I'll take the ammo that's already here. And we'll deliver that to the south and west walls. See if we can't scout out exactly where we want the rail to go as well. How's our power? We might have to expand this. Uh, it's actually totally fine for now. Quite a lot of space here as well. All right, ammo. Huh. I guess I should probably drop all of it here. Let's see how the south wall is doing for ammo. Media appears. Nowhere of interest. Uh, I haven't actually done the belt stuff for this one. If we're already going to do rail to here or to here, then we should probably do left to right. Squeeze through here. Do we have an underground that can reach there? Not quite, otherwise it would have done it automatically. Also, this turret is not actually going to get any help. Alright. Uh, lights. That's fine. I don't... I'm not gonna have enough, am I? I'm gonna run out of copper. I foolishly dropped it all off. One thing at a time. Let's run our belt. A little bit awkward. something like this. Uh, I actually have the rail here this time, so I can lay this out quite easily. Uh, why don't we do it this way? Two-way rail takes up so much less space for the stations. How much ammo do you have? 27... Alright, they're pretty good for ammo, for now, at least. Um, fast inserter, yellow, and splitter, I guess. Like that. Do we have enough? Maybe. Probably not. Do I have any wind turbines? Yes, I do. Sentinel goes here somewhere. Uh, this one... That's unfortunate. About here. 
right, so our sentinel... Let's see. I don't care where the locomotive is, as long as the cargo wagon is straight. So we can put this here, and sentinel about here. Fantastic. Almost perfect on the timing game. I do have one more sentinel, but I can't make any more wind turbines right now. But I know this will last a little bit longer with the ammo that it's got. I'll need to make another delivery relatively soon though. I think uh, we'll do wood production next. Maybe I should just move most of the wood production we've got away from the spaghetti base. We've got more than enough science done to really make a start on our main bus base. What does it take? Automation core, wood, glass, iron beam. It's not that expensive. Oh, I went past it. Uh, wood is totally saturated though. Certainly it's because we're missing this or that to get science to happen. There's no coal in here. Uh, what do I need to upgrade these? Copper. That figures. I'm always running out of copper. Uh, and iron. Never mind. Let's keep science ticking along. At least a little bit, though. Don't need coal here anymore. Let's go deliver it over this way. Oh, my inventory's too full. Where did you get that from? I guess I was carrying some iron. Uh, we do have this one working still, it's just a bit slow. Okay. And then... Uh, let's steal half of our wood production away from the spaghetti base. And 
that'll give us a, kick, a head start on setting it up up here. Ideally, I'd like to run all of the furnaces off of processed fuel from infinite wood, but I don't know if the rate is going to work out very well for that. This will do, I think. Uh, why don't we do two rows? We can do them a bit closer together if we do zigzaggy belts, but on the other hand, there's so much room here, I don't think there's any need to save that little bit of space. Uh, we just need one underground pipe to connect these. On second thought, how much water is this? It's so little. We can build this as big as we want and support the entire thing on one offshore pump. I was going to say I'll do one offshore pump for each row, but that's really unnecessary. I'm having problem with your drop-off blueprints. I get they are designed to empty the chests equally, but they seem to leave the belts half empty. Uh, how so? Which which drop-offs are you talking about? Because I have a few. Um, let me just finish this build first. Actually, let's jump into here real quick. So we've got, for example, uh, some combinatorless balanced unloaders. Let's throw down some cheat wagons. Don't really need it to line up exactly where a station would go. Power. Uh, so I've got these ones that basically... Let's just merge it all in like this. So we can illustrate it with the bottleneck. Delete all of that, and super inserters, blacklist nothing, alright, so then we're going to put some resource here. Hold specifically, RF Holloway, good to see you again, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Is this the beginning of Railblock? Uh, we're not there just yet, but maybe this episode or next, maybe. Uh, so these combinatorless balanced unloaders I've got, um, basically there's more than enough throughput here to saturate whatever, whatever bottleneck you've got a little bit downstream. Uh, and then the inserters just wait until there's no resource detected, either in their hands or on these bits of belt. Um, so as long as... let's get rid of the... let's pretend the train's not there anymore. As long as this is even to begin with, it'll stay even, even though there's no particular smart, uh, particularly smart circuitry. Is this a build simulation mod? Yep, this is editor extensions. Uh, if you go to the mod settings uh, per player and under editor extensions we've got testing lab, personal, off, or force. I don't... 
I guess force would be if you have like different teams of players. Um, but because I've got this set to personal, I can actually just jump in here in the middle of a normal game. And I can use that to make blueprints without without going to a different save and without cheating or anything. It's very cool. Uh, we got our underground pipes. We probably need some more. Offshore pump. Uh, can go here. That's, that's a lot of reach. Wow. Look at how far the underground pipes reach with Crastorio. That's nice. I'm certainly not complaining about that. Uh, let's pick a dollies these across. So I don't have to pick them up. Whoops. Does the base keep running well in the lamp? Yes, I'll show you. Uh, let's put a fish on this belt over to the editor extensions and back to the game. The fish is at the end of the belt. Need a little bit of regular pipe. Steel pipe is even longer. Yeah, I kind of guessed it would be. That's cool. Yes, it is. Um, yeah, so, uh, Metrim, is that the kind of unloader you're talking about, or is it a different one? Alright, so how much is this per second? 1.333. One, uh, 1 uh, it's going to take a lot. If we want to saturate a belt, does do we need to saturate a belt though? Electricity, 1.653 megawatts? That doesn't sound right. 207 kilowatts, that's 800. No, that's actually correct. Hmm. It would take 10 and a bit wind turbines per greenhouse to run this. I maybe used an old one of yours, looks completely different. Is it perhaps, uh... Let's get rid of these. And LT, uh, not LTN. Balanced and loader. Uh, let's just do the circuit real quick. Stack inserters, like so. Connected, like so. Uh, red wire connects to the chest. Everything has to be less than or equal to zero. We read the contents of all chests. We have a arithmetic combinator. Each divided by the number of chests as a negative gives us the negative average. Uh, and then for each individual inserter, it will implicitly add up the positive number that's in this chest that it's getting from the red wire with the negative average that it's getting from, uh, from the arithmetic combinator. Uh, did I do this backwards? Yeah, each greater than or equal to zero, if we're unloading. So it has to be a, it has to be equal to or above average to unload. Belts are parallel to the tracks. It's called coal drop off. Uh, oh, so that sounds way more specific and any of the advan uh, advantages. Examples that I can pull out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, I'd have to actually see it more specifically. Uh, meanwhile, we are making some power poles. 
Is this going to reach? It is definitely not. Uh, not really, anyway. That'll do. And we need to connect this up to the main base. Uh, a few more steam engines. Let's get ahead of things. A few more steam engines would be good. Thanks anyway, I'll figure it out. Uh, okay. So I can actually calculate how much fuel exactly um, we are producing from the trees, and how much fuel this would consume. Uh, let's see. Oh. Hmm. Wait, how many... 16 seconds. No, it doesn't tell us how quickly it consumes fuel. That's unfortunate. Never mind, we'll probably have to keep using coal for this. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, I was picking up iron. And I think I'll just drop off this coal here. How's our ammo looking? Uh, okay. And... One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. How many do we have already? Uh, eight, uh, six, twelve sets. Twelve boilers. That's another eight. I think the tooltip tells you the fuel usage. Uh, fuel pollution? Max consumption, 350 kilowatts. Okay. So, kilowatts versus joules. I can't remember the way these things convert. Is it a, is a joule a watt second, or is it something a bit different? It doesn't tell us rate of coal consumption, right? Oh, it does. Okay. Uh, 1.4 per second times 2. 2.8 per second. And 6 megajoules versus 1.25. We need 4.8 times as much wood. Um, we would, of course, run it through... Maybe I should have already done this processed fuel. Would processed fuel work in these? Let's find out. Oh, it does. It takes processed fuel. Yes, indeed. Um, doesn't Looks like it doesn't take too many of these machines. That already consumes 1.5 coal per second. So it would only take, like, two fuel processes, probably, to convert all of that. We should probably be doing it right now. Um, let's get started with that. Fuel processor... A 10% boost. Yeah, exactly. We can at least stop wasting this coal quite as quickly. Oh, our crafting queue is a little bit long. Uh, why don't we do this for now? And I can't actually move that over. Can't move any of them over. Let's head over to our power plant first. 
And yeah, from that we should be able to calculate pretty easily exactly how much wood it would take uh, to run all of that on an infinite source. Of course, for the moment, a lot of the power that we're supplying that with comes from burning coal anyway. Um, so there's that. Boilers can also burn processed. Really? I guess that makes sense, actually. Boilers can burn a lot of things. Vitamelange? I didn't... Oh yeah, I remember that. Okay. Um... Is that the last of our boilers? I think it is. Our steam engines, rather. I think the processed fuel stuff comes from SE, not a Crustorio thing. Uh, I seem to remember processed fuel from a game I played that was just Crustorio and some other stuff. So I think either or gives you processed fuel. Isn't it from AAI? Okay, there you go. Convert coal to processed straight away and merge it all. Yeah, there's a few things that use specifically coal and wood, but... Other than that, there's no reason not to. Uh, I didn't need ten of these, but whatever. Need to remember to go down there and finish. Wait, how much rail do we have? 402. Okay. Um, I think. This will be. I'd really like to get some cliff explosives before I set up that rail, actually. I don't know. Actually, now that I look at it, it's not really that necessary. Um. Over. Why don't we have the turrets covering the rail on the off chance something gets through? What, 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 what is this squiggly line? Alright, so just to get a feel for exactly how much we need, uh, this is... 156 rail. So let's call it 300. Six, uh, if we have 800 to 1000, we should be able to finish what we want to with our rail. We need some more iron over here to get that to happen. I should have some iron on me. Let's go deliver it. On second thought, I'll deliver a lot more iron after we make our fuel processes here. Fantastic. And you can go in here as well. Give to me iron, that's a lot actually. I was going to say we'll come back with more copper, but we don't have to do that anymore. Copper belt is actually saturated. Um, why don't we finish... Oh my god, it's stuck. Okay, we're fine. 
why don't we finish our copper build here? Use loaders for fuel processing and so are way too slow. Uh, I think we're going to get enough fuel coming out of this anyway. We could always use loaders just to save that little bit of electricity in UPS if we really want to though. Oh, we're handcrafting inserter parts. Let's head down here for now. Pick some up. I'm surprised how quickly this belt got saturated. Or maybe I shouldn't be since the... Uh, since the... Furnaces don't hold a hundred copper plate now. Do I have any of these? I have a lot of these. Alright, grab that. And iron goes here. And iron goes here. Um, chip C. Grab the coal. Shove it in here. All of these, please. And some of that. Some of this. Um, I might actually put most of the steel in here for now. How's our wood? That's not a whole lot of wood. Let's go grab some more. Loaders are way too cheaty. Yeah, they're pretty strong. I feel they're a little bit cheap for just how good they are. Maybe they should consume a good chunk of electricity, considering they can keep up with an entire belt. Okay. Uh, I'll take that, please. I need more iron again. Take the rest of that wood. Probably could have done a bit better with my inventory management. Oh, we're full of glass? No, we're not. No, we stopped smelting because we ran out. Come to think of it, um, we could probably keep that going indefinitely. Do I have a pole? I do. Research? Yeah, it might be a good idea. Um, we kind of have two kinds of... Worker robot cargo size. So that's behind these containers. I kind of have AAI containers plus these ones. By mistake. Is it too late to change this? I think these cost the exact same, but they're slightly worse than the AAI ones. I think you add loaders, at least I do, because of the UPS in the long run. That's why. So if they are too expensive and you don't use them early and later on, who cares? Yeah, later on, who cares? Yeah, definitely. Explosives, cliff explosives. Oh yeah, that's, that's only green signs. Let's get that. And probably mineral water extraction. Uh, steel fluid handling, absolutely. Fluid wagon. Uh, better bullet damage. And batteries, because why not? Let's stay ahead of our needs with the research. 
Wait, are loaders faster for UPS than inserters? Oh, definitely. Um, even if one loader is... Depending on how it works. Let's say one loader costs significantly more UPS than one inserter. Um, to saturate an entire belt, I, I seriously doubt that inserters are going to be better in that regard. Current ammo train says no path. Is it connected? Yes, it is. Um, if we hold control, we can make a temporary stop. You can see that it can get everywhere. Um, it's just that because there's only one train, uh, we don't need any combinators if I just say enable disable on the train stop. Um, because the condition is only going to train uh, change when that train is there, it's not going to cause any problems. Hello, K2 and SE is awesome. Yes, indeed. And agree. I'll be taking that. Don't need that many walls, actually. But I love Factorio, but my brain is too small for some of these things. You learn it little by little. Um, the beauty of Factorio is as complicated as it gets. Well, unless you're doing things like Arcospheres, which is deep in the space exploration mod. Um, you just learn it one little piece at a time, and each little piece is not too hard to wrap your head around. So it's not like certain subjects where the barrier to entry to understand this or that thing is learning many things before you can get a handle on it. Why do we not have copper here? Oh, right, I see. Spiders are always going to get you. Dirty sock. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Build a display with lamps. That's way beyond me. Uh, depending on the display we're talking about, it can be very easy or extremely complicated. If there's bit shifting involved, then yes, that's pretty advanced. Uh, I don't need a blue belt. Um, however, if we're just talking about, like, a line of lamps representing a certain amount of resources, uh, that's actually pretty easy. So, for example, um, let's say we have... Lamp. And how many stacks is this? 16? 5, 10, 15, 16. Connect it all with green wire. Uh, let's just do this. And then let's say we're going to fill it up with copper. We're just gonna go. Uh, I could do I, I, I could do everything or anything, or I could just do copper ore. Uh, greater than or equal to fifty, and then greater than or equal to a hundred, greater than or equal to one fifty, and so on. And once we get one stack of copper in here light go on, and so on. Can I link a video? Uh, sure. Let me give you a permit. Link away. Oh, is this what I think it is? Yes, it is. <laughs> Yeah, that's a little bit more advanced. <laughs> just a tad. J just a wee bit. Just a smidge bit. Okay. Uh, more inserters. 
Let's go. Uh, long arm. And we got this. Fantastic. Let's deliver our copper up here. should be able to consume way faster than these miners can produce already. Um, so I'll give that a rest for a moment. What are we focusing on now? It's actually been more than 19 minutes. I think I will take a little break in just a moment. Uh, let's set up some words on stream. At that point, it's not really Factorio anymore, you just have to understand how computers... Yeah, you just have to understand how computers work. My favourite is the one where some guy implemented Doom. The thing is, even if you do understand how computers work, uh, getting it to happen with Factorio Combinators is a different challenge in and of itself, because Factorio Combinators are a little bit weird. Like, uh, if you already have skill with Redstone in Minecraft, and then you go using these combinators, it's going to be a bit of an adjustment. Civ 3 Hall of Fame runs about 20 years ago. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's get started with this. And... I'll get a little something to eat, probably. Link. Are we good? Yes, indeed. All right. Uh, so about thirty seconds. We're going to start some words on stream. I'll be back in a few minutes, and we'll continue with crafting noises. I mean, space exploration with K two. All right. Uh. Let's go. Hey, Imo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And have fun with uh, words on stream.
Okay. Level 8. Very nice. And let's continue with some space exploration. Alright, so where were we? Um, I just put... Oh, that's a decent amount of rail. 620... 800... Okay, we might just have enough to get our walls completely resupplied. And then we can completely focus on base building for a while. Um, let's drop off the copper for the ammo production. It's actually already full. Wait, what? Oh, there's no coal. Oh, because we're not... Because this isn't coal anymore. Okay. Um, easily remedied. Let's just run it through here, I suppose. And that should get our ammo reproduction fully automated once again. Well, almost fully automated. Um, but one copper plate one makes one rifle mag. Shouldn't have to deliver this too often. I could drag it up here, but I would rather dismantle this spaghetti once we really get going. Uh, we are also going to be needing medium electric poles. And probably some inserters. No, I think we got all of the inserters this time. Okay. So I think we're just going to have... If I have the rail go this way, then the train coming back this way is not going to really work. Um, let's do it up here. It's going to be a bit more out of the way of our base as well. Let's grab the car. room to expand that out at least twice. In fact, uh, maybe I'll have this rail go this way instead. It might be better. Alright, let's uh, pick this up, I guess. Surprising alacrity. Whoops. I guess we're going around our power plant as well. Um, how's the water? Let's see. 200. We can do way more than this. We could basically use this entire space. Um, so I think I'll have the rail go down this way-ish. Um here, sure, why not? And it 
needs to go here. So I'll probably just go diagonal from that point. Preferably not through the copper mine, actually. Oops. And I guess straight through here. Somewhat. How much rail do we have left? Uh, 400, 419. Not bad. Can I not? There we go. There we go. Down this way. Almost there. No. Uh, I guess that would be fine, actually. train is probably in motion now. There it goes. Fantastic. We've still got 209, which is probably a bit short to supply the southern wall. We can at least plan it out while we're here and lay out the electric poles. And I should probably make some wind turbines. And sentinels. And where are we going? Probably not exactly there. But rather this way. Let's go have a look. Oops. Probably just go straight here now. Fantastic. Let's grab the car. We've got 47 rail left. It's definitely not enough, but it's closer than expected. Oh, we have to pick this up as well. I don't think that's going to make the difference. And let's go place those power poles that we've been crafting. Did I pick up any ammo myself? I did not. I've got 200 in the car. That would probably be worth dropping off. In fact, I'm sure it would. Is that everything? Fantastic. Hmm. 
We're still making power poles. Give that a rest for a moment. And... Uh, I jump into the editor to make a wire connection. We don't need to wait for the handcrafting queue to make that happen. Fantastic. Uh, let's just drop off the ammo from the car. And it's about time we placed some more sentinels. So we're going to need one over here. What's our wind power? It's still being crafted. Okay. I don't have any on me, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Uh, I guess I could measure out where the next one's going to be while we wait. It's going to be over here somewhere, but I can't build in the fog of war. There we go. And I don't think I care if this part doesn't have vision. Maybe. What are Sentinels? Mini radars, yes indeed. Uh, for 40 kilowatts they give you vision in a 3x3 three three, uh, grid of uh, chunks like this. They don't do any scanning or anything, but they're perfect for walls. Okay, uh, we've got our radar, I mean, our wind turbines. Please skip this one. And Sentinel. I'll put an extra Sentinel over here, why not? matter if I put it here or here really. Uh, but yeah that'll keep us that'll keep us in vision for this area. Okay, let's get ammo completely automated. And then we won't have to worry about whether our walls are... Oh wait, we need rail as well. I've got 32, but that's not enough. There should be... Zero. Uh-oh. Uh... Why... Output full... Oh, there's no stone. Okay. We don't have enough stone for the rail that we need. Let's go fix that up and get ammo fully automated. We actually only need uh, 54 rail to complete the whole thing. I could almost handcraft it. There 
and then we'll have a very comfortably large area to build in uh, that won't need any labor to maintain for quite some time. just happened to have a bunch of stone on me as well. Let's drop stone in here, iron in here, coal uh, in here, wood I guess as well. And what did I say we need? 50 something. We're getting there pretty quickly. I think I can already handcraft a better assembly machine. Let's do that. So we don't bottleneck as much on uh, the steel beams. Looks like the inserters should still be able to keep up. Wait, do you already have a stack size of... No. No, you do not. Asandanima, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Take the train back? I could do that. That's a good idea. Um, Let's go grab some wood and or make sure our wood production up here actually goes where it needs to. Actually managed to squeeze through that. Fantastic. Uh, I need some power poles to make it all the way over here. We're two tiles off that connecting. Much sad. And I think I damaged this earlier. Ascend Anima, thank you very, very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated, thank you. Uh, that actually goes here. Very much appreciated. Thanks for the content. Here, take Amazon's money. Thank you. And thank you, and you're welcome. All right, we need power, power, power. I have the power to get the power. That doesn't actually reach across. Uh, can we put it here? There we go. That got a bit off. And go. Fluid ingredient shortage working fantastic. So now we don't have to go anywhere near as far to pick up some wood up here. Uh, I've still got a million belt. No big power poles yet. No big power poles yet. Uh, we do have a tease that we could get a lighted substation Mark II at some point in the future. For some reason. But uh, yeah, we don't have substations yet. All right, um, let's go belt in this general direction. I might even end up extending this all the way out here since the wood production from water alone is rather slow. And I might even just feed that into the fuel processes as well. Uh, how about this? There we go. Alright, uh, I didn't pick up the rail though. We need 50 something. 
We've got 194. That is at least 50-something. Let's handcraft a bunch of electric mining drills while we're not handcrafting anything else. Uh, the rail doesn't go near this. Oh, it, it goes somewhat near it. Talem Grandmaster, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's temp stop our way down here. Wait until passenger present. Um, and 20 seconds have passed. And then head all the way down here. Okay. Crunch, crunch, crunch. What did I come here for? Rail. very much. That's what I came here for. Stone. Well, there's a bit of stone. Let's refill that. And get back into our train. Why is research stopped? There's no green cards. Probably because... Uh, there's no iron here. Oh. I... Wow, that iron lasted so long. One iron gear wheel makes one blank tech card. One iron makes one blank tech card. So that's 300 tech cards. Uh, yeah, the iron actually lasted so long that I forgot that we had to refill it. Okay. Do I actually have something in place to get the tech cards in there? I don't think I do. We'll just give it some time. And then in we go. Train is automatically headed for the next temp stop. Uh, passenger present. Actually... Yeah, no, that'll be fine. And we'll put this after ammo pickup. So it'll go... It'll go to the next station for ammo drop-off first. Is that it? Oh, I think I... Yeah, 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 I set it to wait for me. Don't... And in we go. Ammo drop off. Fantastic. And we'll soon be heading back. Uh, I need some sentinels around here so I can see my base. Also gonna need some more greenhouses. Well, don't strictly need them just yet, but I would like to have them. How's our power? Our power is very, very good. Very, very good, as a matter of fact. We've got 28 plus another 5 coming electric mining drills. We can just about cover one of our mines. Should probably get this stone mine.